Fred is a 21-year-old man who has been arrested for murder. He was discovered walking along the road near to his mother's home covered in blood, and holding a knife which is believed to be the murder weapon. His mother was found dead in their home having been stabbed multiple times. Fred told the arresting police officers that he did it because his mother was a witch, and he needed to get the devil out of her. At the police station there were concerns that Fred was having auditory hallucinations, he was speaking to himself and seemed to be reacting to unseen stimuli. He was charged with murder and transferred to the mental health unit in prison. He refused to take medication whilst on the mental health unit and was moved to segregation after assaulting staff on the unit who he believed were poisoning his food. Fred's mother had expressed her concerns to his mental health care coordinator in the community in the months before her murder. He had been known to mental health services since he was 16, he had a diagnosis of first episode psychosis which later was changed to schizophrenia. His mother was concerned that he had stopped taking his medication, he had become increasingly preoccupied with religion and he was smoking large quantities of cannabis. She told the care coordinator that he was becoming increasingly controlling of her and his sister. She also mentioned to the care coordinator an incident when he threatened to set fire to her sister's bed saying witches should burn. The care coordinator had been in the process of organizing a mental health act assessment at the time of the murder. Fred did well in school and was described by his family as outgoing and academically gifted. However, his family report that he fell in with a bad crowd and began smoking a lot of weed, around the time of his parents' divorce when he was 14. His grades deteriorated and he got into trouble for fighting. His mother was delighted when he started attending church with her aged 16, however the family noted that he began spending more and more of his time praying. Ultimately, Fred was sectioned aged 16 after his parents discovered him having tried to hang himself. Upon admission he was acutely suicidal and insisted I have to martyr myself and only through death can I be reborn in my true saintly form. Fred responded well to antipsychotic medication, he and his parents attended family therapy after he was discharged from hospital, and they reportedly found this intervention helpful. He found the side effects of his medication very distressing, especially weight gain and sleepiness. His psychiatrist changed his medication a number of times, but Fred had not yet found a medication that he could tolerate. Fred's father was of a view that he had just had a breakdown and was supportive of his son stopping medication. This exacerbated tensions within the family. Although this was spoken about in family therapy, parental arguments continued to be something that Fred reportedly found stressful. In the lead up to the offense, Fred had lost a job he had started as an apprentice carpenter for arriving late too many days in a row. He believed this was because of how drowsy his medication was making him, whereas his mother was of the view that his continued heavy cannabis use was to blame. His sister had recently moved out to go to university, and his mother complained that he was a failure compared with her. Fred stopped taking his medication in order to stop feeling so drowsy. He began attending church not just weekly, but daily, and when the local priest contacted his mother with concerns about Fred's mental state, Fred started attending multiple other churches in the surrounding area. Fred's mother was increasingly concerned about his mental state and began to contact his care coordinator with increasing urgency. Fred's father also became concerned when Fred came to his house for dinner and he noticed he seemed to be responding to someone who wasn't there. When Fred's father asked what the matter was, he said it's the angels. On the day of the offence Fred had not answered the phone to his care coordinator. He attended a church and told the priest I know God's plan, I have to rid the world of the devil, witchcraft is an abomination, I am going to cleanse the world. The priest was extremely concerned, but as Fred didn't attend the church regularly he was not sure who to contact. It is believed that Fred went home after this meeting and killed his mother. When interviewed about the incident initially, Fred said I killed the witch, she had the devil in her. I had to rid him of her so that we can live in peace. More recently in prison Fred has said I didn't kill her, I don't remember, it must have been the devil, he did it. The care team in prison are requesting that Fred be transferred to a secure hospital.